Charlotte and I are going to make some M&M Dream Bars. So we got some creamy peanut butter. We got the Christmas M&Ms. I couldn't find a bag, so I just got two of these. Butterscotch chips, uh, some the semi-sweet chocolate chips, although these are chunks, but I don't think it actually matters. And a bag of mini marshmallows. Are you ready to get baking? Yep. Awesome. I found this recipe on Pinterest. It looks really good. And I'll link it down below for you. So just got, uh, uh, first thing we do need to do is we need to get a nine by 13 baking dish uh, with some nonstick uh, foil or probably spray. This is like a no bake dessert it looks like, um, but we will have to microwave the chocolate chips. So there's some microwaving going on, but it's mainly a no bake dessert and you'll have to let it chill in the refrigerator for like two hours once you're all done with it. So Charlotte and I are gonna go ahead and get started on that. Yeah, so Charlotte is gonna open both the bags. We're gonna put them both, plus the peanut butter, in a microwave safe bowl, and then we're just going to put it in the microwave for intervals of like 30 seconds. I got my brand new baking dish. How pretty is that? Got it coated with some uh, ham cooking spray. This is like one of those Pioneer Woman um, baking dishes I got from my in-laws, so pretty. Figure might as well use the Christmas one because it is still December, so why not? Okay. So we're using chocolate chunks because it's what we had on hand, even though it says to, will you stop eating them? Put those in there. <laughs> but I just only ate one of that and one of that. You're a stinker. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna steal one too. Okay, good. Now we need a cup of peanut butter. So we measured out one cup of the creamy peanut butter. So Charlotte's gonna add that into the chocolate chips and then it's gonna go in the microwave. All right, so we just did the first 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good stir. I gotta put my camera down though. Okay, so the peanut butter got all nice and gooey, but we still need the chocolate chips melted, so it's gonna go back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Okay, so we did 30 seconds, and then we just did another 30 seconds. So this is getting pretty good and melty, but there's still some lumps, as Charlotte put it. Um, and I probably wouldn't mind the lumps, but we're gonna stick it in for another 30 seconds and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so we microwave for another 30 seconds. There's still some chocolate chips that haven't melted, but I'm really worried about the uh, chocolate um, burning. So, <laughs> you are a little thief stealing marshmallows. So, what Charlotte is supposed to be doing is adding marshmallows to our bowl and stirring it. Oh wait, how many marshmallows are we supposed to add? Hold on Charlotte, one second. 10 and a half ounces, ma'am. It says 10 and a half ounces, basically an entire bag. Charlotte, so go. Please, entire bag. Yeah, put the, uh, it says 10 and a half ounces, so go ahead and just start adding some of the marshmallows. Be careful you don't get chocolate on your sleeve. Okay. Go ahead, dump it in. I feel like that's really a lot. You think that's yeah. too much? No, it's good. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, I feel like that's a lot. Okay, well it says to stir it in. From here we're just gonna carefully stir in our now too small of a bowl. <laughs> yeah. And once Charlotte gets that all stirred up somehow, um, we're gonna put it into this pan and then we're gonna sprinkle it with the, um, the M&Ms. Can you hold the bowl like that? Here, let me, let me hold the bowl for you, let go. Okay. All right, you do that. There we go. all that in there. It's supposed to chill in the refrigerator for two hours once once she's all done. And sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. You're kind of dumping them all in one place, Charlotte. Sorry. Get some over here. You know, you're not left-handed, so I'm kind of surprised that you're sprinkling with your left hand. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. I'd have to use my right hand. Yeah. Doesn't that look so good? Mm -hmm. Okay, looks good. It's gonna go in the fridge. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So Charlotte and I just decided that we were gonna do some baking today because we were having a very chill day. Just kind of hanging around. Charlotte's been doing her little craft over here. I'll show you what she's been doing. Uh, she got uh, a latch kit for Christmas, and this was actually something that I had done when I was a kid, and these, I always thought these were so fun. So I got her the unicorn one, and this is what she's got done so far. She's actually been doing really good. Of course, I remember when I was a kid, I'd start from the top and just, you know, 
work my way down, but Charlotte is a little bit more sporadic <laughs> than that, but she's doing a really good job. She's having a lot of fun with it. So she's been doing that. And I just finished an episode of um, uh, Manifest. I know it's actually a show that's probably been running for a while now, but I just watched the last episode of the last season. And now I have to wait until 2023 for the story to continue. <sighs> Don't you hate when that happens? But anyway, so as you can see, we still have we still have our Christmas decorations up, our tree and everything. And so that kind of leads me to the question of when do y'all put your Christmas stuff away? Do you do it the day? Actually, I've heard of people like putting all their Christmas decorations away like the evening of Christmas. Do y'all wait until like the next day? Do you actually go on until January, which is what we're gonna actually be doing. Um, last year, I think that we kept ours up until like, the I think it was like the first week of January, but I think I might leave it up a little bit longer than that. Um, we have good reasons why. Uh, so yeah, I was just kind of curious, you know, when do y'all start putting your decorations away? There was a news report where somebody was saying that if people leave their Christmas decorations up, um, past the end of December that, you know, people were lazy or something and they just don't want to go through the hassle of having to put everything away and that they don't actually like Christmas that much. They just don't want to deal with the hassle. And I say that is not true, at least for me. I actually like all my Christmas decorations. What I dread is what the house looks like after my Christmas decorations are gone <laughs> because then it just looks so, you know, I don't have like these beautiful Christmas lights to look at every evening and morning and, and you know i don't know i just think it's more fun with all the christmas stuff so no i'm not being lazy i actually do like christmas so i just wanted to bring you all out here so you could see how the animals are doing uh bella's in a bowl loving it <laughs> do you see it? i don't know what's wrong with these kids they're just being really silly anyway so yeah everybody out here there's there's izzy over there she's chilling randy won't even look at me um <laughs> So everybody's doing good over here. I gave everybody their treats today. Trough is full and ice free. Thank God for that. We had like some really bad thunderstorms come in last night. And uh, so the ice is over, you know, the freeze is finally over. I mean, the winter is not over. I mean, we still got a couple more months of that, but, uh, but at least that freeze is finally over and now we get to deal with the rain. So it's not raining today, thankfully, but I think it's either gonna rain tomorrow or the next day or something like that. So I'm gonna take you over to show you the pigs and the chickens, to show you how everybody's doing. What y'all doing? Hey, Bruce, Bethy. Hi, Bruce. No, I already, so I already brought them snacks earlier and they had a field day with that. Uh, I probably should go in there and check on the eggs because I know that I had a barred rock in the chicken coop that was, uh, laying eggs so hopefully she got treats when i was out here earlier fred move go on go on move move let me open the gate fred move 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 fred move i'm gonna kick you in your butt <laughs> thank you good lord no let me come in i'm trying to come in good gravy well i don't look at you hey y'all had treats earlier i'm just checking on eggs could everybody oh my god it's so hard to walk over here bethy girl look how big you're getting big girl bruce is gonna be as big as angus someday is anybody in here oh i'm sorry ma'am okay so we do have a few eggs and a hen that's actually laying eggs so i'm gonna have to get that later bruce i'm gonna get that butt no buddy i don't have any more treats oh but i got scratchies they're gonna get all Dude, you're being ridiculous. You already got treats, buddy. There's somebody at my legs. Hello. I'll be back later. Okay, let's just put it this way. Everybody is doing just fine. Except Bruce is throwing a little hissy fit because he thinks I'm out here trying to bring him treats again. Hi, big girl. What you doing? Hi. I guess they had like a burst of energy earlier because they were bouncing all over the place and now I guess it's nap time. Must be nap time because look at Randy. Izzy. What are you? <laughs> Izzy. 
Daisy. She's like, hey, you're over here. Give me attention. <laughs> Hi, honey. Y'all did really good with that storm last night. That was some crazy storm. Look at you with that leg sticking out there. Okay, the M&M Dream Bars are ready. Mm -hmm. So I already taken out uh, Charlotte's piece here. This is what it looks like. You want to take a taste test? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. First I'm in the M&M's. <laughs> I'm kind of not surprised. <laughs> so you give it a thumbs up? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Very not surprised. Uh, because, you know, made with chocolate and peanut butter and butterscotch, I mean, it's a win-win. So, I have a little taste test. It is pretty good. However, I personally feel like there's too many marshmallows in this. I don't mind marshmallow, but I feel like there's too many. But if you like marshmallow, this is probably a win-win for you. And anyway, we are starting the new Wednesday at, no, Wednesday series on Netflix. So we're going to watch that. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and share with somebody you love. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye.